Today, we're going to look at a couple of encoder kits from CUI devices. Specifically, we've got two kits from the AMT encoder line, which use capacitive technology to sense shaft position rather than the more usual technique of optical encoding via interrupted light beams. Capacitive technology gives high accuracy and immunity to dirt, to dust, and oil that can plague optical encoders in industrial environments. CUI Devices makes absolute encoders, commutation encoders, and the incremental encoders like the ones we have here. We've got two incremental encoders, the AMT11 series and the AMT13 series. Electrically, these are identical. The only difference is in the size of the motor shaft each one accommodates. The AMT11 series supports shaft sizes from 2 mm to 8 mm, while the AMT13 series supports 9 mm to 5 8 inch motor shafts. These encoders also come in the form of kits that you assemble on the motor shaft. Each kit comes in a little white box, and when you open that box, you see the two parts of the encoder and several adapters that let the encoder work on motor shafts of different diameters. CUI Devices has animated videos online that show how to assemble different encoders on a motor. For the AMT11 series, you simply use the tools included in the kit to put on your shaft adapter and sleeve, center the base plate on the motor, snap on the housing, which contains the electronics, and lastly, use the tool again to fully seat the encoder's internal rotor assembly. The AMT13 series mounting process varies slightly in that the encoder housing mounts to the motor without the use of a base plate. With the AMT11 series, the adapter just makes a friction fit with the motor shaft, so there's not much to it. The housing contains all the electronics as well as the plastic wheel which engages with the shaft adapter. It's this wheel which turns the capacitive element in the encoder to sense motor shaft position. The good thing about the mounting process is that there are no tight tolerances involved in positioning any of the parts. The encoder kit includes a fixture that you use to get the shaft adapter at the right distance from the motor housing. The encoder housing just snaps onto the mounting frame and that's pretty much all there is to mounting the encoder. The mounting process was simple enough that we could actually assemble the AMT11 into a little demo. We used a base plate that incorporated the wide attachment points you see here, but there is also a smaller option to handle cramped quarters. The motor in our demo is an old fan motor, and for demonstration purposes, we've turned it into a variable speed motor of sorts using a simple light dimmer. We're happy to say we were able to make a connection to the encoder using a pre-assembled cable. There are cables made specifically for each of these encoders, and you can get them from DigiKey, which sure beats trying to assemble your own cable. The encoders are programmable through serial transmit and receive pins. All incremental encoders from CUI devices have 22 configurable resolutions from 48 to 4096 pulses per revolution, which can be quickly adjusted via a CUI devices software package called AMT Viewpoint. The encoders come out of the box with a default resolution set at 2048 PPR, which is what we're using today. The connector gives you access to the usual A and B quadrature channels and to their inverses, plus a once per shaft revolution index pulse. The encoders work from a 5 volt power supply, as is typical for CMOS. You can see the A and B quadrature signals on our scope display. One last thing we'll say about the encoders from CUI devices is that they provide push-pull outputs rather than the open collector outputs you sometimes find on other encoders. That meant all we had to do was to connect our scope probe to the A and B lines to get a display of the quadrature signals. We didn't have to connect pull-up resistors as we would have had to do otherwise. And that's a quick look at capacitive incremental encoders from CUI devices. With a range of shaft adapters, programmable resolutions, and mounting options, the AMT encoder kits offer hundreds of configurations in one package, giving designers a flexible platform during the development process. For more information on these encoders, go to cuidevices.com.